Good day and welcome to Connect, our daily meditation where we connect to God, each other and our own inner selves. Now we read in the Bible that it's good to meditate on the Word of God. So find a comfortable place and inhale slowly, breathe in peace. Exhale, drive out anxiety, worries, stress and fear. Now, our Bible reading today will be out of Matthew 11, verse 28 to 40, and I'm going to read out of the New International Version. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Now, do you, right now, have something that drags you down? Is there a burden on your soul that you are not able to bear? Now, a Washington newspaper carried the story of Tatu, the Basset Hound, now, Tatu didn't intend to go for an evening run, but when his owner shut the dog's leash in the car door and took off for a drive, with Tatu still outside the vehicle, Tatu had no choice. Police officer Terry Philbert noticed a passing vehicle with something dragging behind it. He said that the poor Basset Hound was picking them up and putting them down as fast as he could. He chased the car to a stop and Tatu was rescued. But not before the dog had reached a top speed of 25 miles per hour. Falling down and rolling over several times. My friend, too many of us are living our lives like that too. Picking them up and putting them down as fast as we can. Rolling around and feeling dragged through life. And yes, God knows that we can't handle some stuff. But then, we were designed to depend upon God. And that's why Jesus' invitation stands. So if you are exhausted and life is heavier than you can bear, just come to Jesus. Now, in some parts of Africa, yokes are still very, very common. And there are basically two types of yokes. One is for a single bull that lays across his neck. And that kind of burden is the most difficult because the bull has to carry the burden all by himself. But the other kind of yoke is when two animals are connected together, each one bearing the burden as they pull the plow. And the oxen are keeping in step and they carry the load together as a team. And they are not hurt by the burden they carry. Now, a yoke is not an instrument of torture. It is basically an instrument of mercy. It's not meant to give pain, but to save pain. And in the area where I came from in Africa, yokes were always made heavier on one side than the other. Then you see, we would put a weak bull in alongside a strong bull. And the light end would come on the weak ox and the heavier end on the stronger one. And that's why the yoke is easy and the burden is light because the Lord's yoke is made after the same pattern. And the heavy end is upon 
the Lord Jesus Christ's shoulder and he is carrying it with us and he is taking the most of the weight. Now to take a yoke in the days of Jesus meant to become a disciple of Jesus, to learn from him. And when we submit to Jesus, we are yoked to him. We are working with him. So imagine yourself then yoked to Jesus. Your burdens are not removed, but Jesus is your yoke mate. And he is pulling with you. He's there with you. And by using the illustration of a yoke, Jesus is asking us to share and be partners with him in his work, in his ministry and his service. And he is also telling us that he will train us, he will equip us, he will teach us, and he will guide us to be effective in life and service if we allow him. And if we come to Jesus and do things His way, in partnership and communion with Him, He promises that we will find rest and refreshment for our souls. Our yokes and burdens in life will be much easier. So, let us reflect on this today. Please pray with me. Father, Thank you that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Thank you that you promised to give the worried and stressed out rest and peace for our souls. Father, we do get tired and weak, weary and torn. But help us to remember that you will never leave us, that you are our refuge and our strength an ever-present help in times of trouble. Father, renew our strength and refresh our minds. Give us the perspective that you want us to have. Help us to see your hand at work in our situations and show us how to put our trust in you so our mind can find the rest it needs. We pray this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.